Hey everyone, my name is Jerry and welcome to a new 12 part video series. So in 2022, we will give you a short update video every month on how the development is going of the plastic scanner, which basically starts in 2021, where at the end of 2021, we have the, the plastic scanner project has won the James Dyson Sustainability Award. And this is just amazing news. It gives a lot of resources, a lot of possibilities to develop new prototypes and also just a huge motivation to keep working on the project. So we are very excited for 2022 and really developing the plastic scanner further. Um, we chose to do this in the most open source way as possible. So we really want to make an example open hardware project where we document everything very proper and we focus on the open hardware part and not as much on the commercialization part. If at the end of 2022, we are very happy with this open source part, we will also develop the commercialization part a lot more where we will start selling kits and also fully assembled products. But for now, we really want to make a good open source plastic scanner. So for this, we made a plan for 2022 and alongside with the plan, we made a nice web page, which you should be able to see here. And this basically tells you our plan of 2022, where we want to really focus on making the best possible open source plastic scanner. And in order to do so, we have split the year into four quarters, where basically in the first quarter, we want to take one step back and really look at the project as it is now. Up to now, it was very much my graduation project. It was me and sometimes some friends helping out, but everything is still sort of in here. And we want to open it up a lot more. So we need to really spend some time on documentation and writing everything down, making it proper. Once we have done that, it's also easier to get other people involved for the second quarter of 2022. And that basically means building the best possible open source scanner. So we really want to see how far we can push this discrete infrared technology. And we, at the moment, in the second quarter, we're not going to focus as much on replicatability and cost, but we really want to see how good is this quality, how far can we push this, and how does this compare to other commercial plastic scanners. And with the inputs of that second quarter, we go into the third quarter where we really try to make the best price performance ratio. So something that is easy to replicate and that can identify the plastics, at least in most cases. So we have a good balance between something that people actually want to replicate, something that they want to use, but also something that is afford affordable and uh, accurate. And then at the last part of 2022, we really want to nail down the documentation. So write down a lot of how to uh, instructions, instruction videos, technical drawings, blueprints, basically everything to hopefully make a proper plastic scanner. Um, the outcome is still rather uncertain. We don't know exactly how this development is going to go. We have some plans, we have some ideas. Some of them are very ambitious. Some of them should be very reasonable. At the end of 2022, we will definitely have 12 of these videos showing you the process and how things went down in 2022. Um, hopefully also, well actually for sure, also a lot of documentation on infrared, on the technology and basically plastic sorting in general. And fingers crossed, also an actual replicatable plastic scanner. But there's also a lot of challenges with chip shortages and yeah, unknown supplies. So we need to see how it goes, but we are really looking forward to it. We hope that you are also looking forward 
to it as much as we do. And we also want to be able to welcome or have people get involved with the project. I think there's many people who want to share their expertise, especially on something good, uh, really trying to fight this plastic pollution. So on the website, we also have a little part getting involved where we writ written down things that we could really get some support with. And these can be very practical things. Um, people with skills in machine learning or physics or electronics that's yeah always super welcome and we would be really happy to get some feedback from experts in order to make the best possible plastic scanner um, but also some practical things so if you happen to have a commercial plastic scanner uh, laying around that we can borrow for a few days to test it and to benchmark some stuff then that's amazing so do make sure to check out the get involved part because maybe you have something laying around that can be very useful for us. So that is the plan of 2022. And apart from that, there is one more crucial update for January. And that is that Jure started helping out with the development of Plastic Scanner. Jure is a friend of mine and unfortunately he cannot introduce him here in front of the camera today. That's because I'm quarantining because of the COVID situation, but luckily he is living in the same building. So we can head on over to the window and see if we can find him, if he can introduce himself and I can show you what he's working on. So let's do that. Hey Jura. Hey. So Jure is working on the documentation. Uh, I will show inside what he's doing. So this is what Jure is working on. A documentation website about the plastic scanner and then information on how it works, what the theory is, different PCB revisions. So tests that we set out and yeah, basically general info to get started with the plastic scanner and to get into development. Very cool. Okay, so that was it for January. I hope you really liked this video and make sure to check back next month because then we have new updates, new exciting things to share about the plastic scanner. So see you around, <laughs> bye.